Hi, Nicole Young here to show you some of the new features of the Crop Tool in Photoshop CS6. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the Crop Tool and get started. Now you can see as soon as I open up the Crop Tool that the Crop Box is automatically set to the image edges and that just basically saves on having to drag that Crop Box all the way across your image. Now one of the things that's great about this is if you want to, let's say you want to crop this out and add space to your canvas, if I were to drag this out, you can actually see the transparency that you're going to get with that. So you no longer are guessing on what it's going to look like. And if I were to drag this around, I'm not moving the crop box, I'm actually moving the image. So it shows me a good preview of how I want to actually crop this in the long run. So you're not just guessing on how that looks as well. So I'll go ahead and scroll in and get this to a better crop. Just trying to straighten it up. It makes it a lot easier. It's very similar to the interface using Lightroom that you use. So if you have that already, then you're very familiar with how this works. Now, some of the things that are also uh, not necessarily new, but a little bit more apparent, the delete cropped pixels, uh, you can check this. If you check this, once you crop your image, then it's, uh, it's gonna be completely, all those outside areas are gonna be deleted. If I uncheck this and I were to commit to this crop, I can actually, I'm gonna go ahead and reveal all, and I still have my entire my entire image there. So I'm not worried, you know, I can do this non-destructively if I'd like to, and then go back and change it later on. Another thing they've added to this is the ability to choose your aspect ratio much more easily than you could in previous versions. So if I click on this drop down here, I can choose from some of the original presets or I can create my own. And then just go ahead and position my image and crop it.